The answer to the question for me, of course, is yes. Uh, and I also agree with many of the comments Karen made about the progress we've made on some of these issues over the last four years. Uh, I've been proud of the City Council's work on these things together with OTOC um, when it comes to the demolition funding, when it comes to code enforcement, and when it comes to things she mentioned like the vacant and abandoned property ordinance that we passed together and the uh, boarding house ordinance we passed together to address these kind of issues of public safety and, and quality housing throughout our city. Uh, the vacant and abandoned property ordinance has now registered over 900 properties in the city, so that's well on its way, as is the abandoned uh, or the uh, uh, boarding house ordinance as well. So uh, those things we wanted to get up and running on their, on their own, and they're on their own now, so I think it's time to start looking at this very issue as well. Thanks. Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, this is one of the most important things a city does, is collect your trash. It's by far our largest single contract out of any city service, over $20 million a year, in this case for 10 years. That's something that have, should be very transparent and involve uh, the public, and that should be, be a very public process going forward. I think I've been in competition with uh, Councilman Jerem over the last couple of years as, as being the most vocal critic for combining yard waste with, into the landfill. I think that's the wrong way to go. I'm a big supporter of Omagro. Oma I think we need to continue our composting program in the future. Other cities have figured this out. We can too. I think in addition to, to providing timely and efficient service in the next bid, we, must have to, we have to emphasize much more strongly the environmental sustainability of that contract and how that will go forward. Uh, when we recycle only 11% of our recycling stream in Omaha, that's not good enough. We can do better. I've spent a lot of my time uh, as your city councilman working on enhancing public safety, uh, addressing our city's financial challenges over the long term, and also working on my neighborhood business districts throughout District 1, in particular uh, Benson, Dundee, and Florence. We've created models there that I think can be applied throughout the entire city, and we've had really great results there, and I want to continue that work. Two other things you'll hear about from almost everybody, and certainly me, is our streets and mass transit. We need to do a much better job with our infrastructure. We're about, that's about a $300 million problem we need to resolve uh, as the elect elected officials over the next four years. Uh, but in addition to that, and maybe the most important issue I think we can address is some of what you heard about today, to tonight from, from just about everybody, and that is uh, poverty and econ economic disparities that exist in our community. It's not okay to have 3% unemployment in Nebraska, but 30% unemployment in certain portions of our city. And until we address that, we're never going to achieve the uh, ultimate um, potential we have as a city until we do that and come together to address those things. And every issue we've talked about tonight applies in that category, I think, so I'm very pleased we had this discussion tonight in this forum. Two of those issues I would just expand upon here for a couple more seconds. I very much was moved by the stories tonight, too, uh, on the immigration front and on what can we do to be more welcoming. Uh, you may know that I had a candidate in my district that I think espoused some false and discriminatory discriminatory remarks in that regard. And sometimes it's as easy as just standing up and doing the right thing. We pushed back hard on that. I think a lot of you did too. And he dropped out of the race. And I was pleased to see that reaction from our, from our community to, to do the right thing. Secondly, um, on the payday lending, I'm with Ben on that. <laughs> I worked with Senator Vargas on LB194 this year and submitted a letter of support to the committee. I was disappointed that didn't move forward, but I'm willing to pursue local options to that as well. Thanks so much, and I look forward to working with you for another four years. Thank you.